Hi, in this video, we're going to verify this equation. So what is happening here? So basically, these are complex numbers and we're multiplying them. We're thinking of these as complex numbers written in ordered pair form. So let's go ahead and work through this solution. First thing we're gonna do is basically rewrite this in a way uh, where you might be more familiar with the notation. So basically, this is the same as saying two minus three i times negative two plus one i, so i, is equal to negative one plus eight i. So we basically have to verify this product. This product is equal to this complex number. So let's go ahead and start by writing down the left-hand side. So two negative three times negative two one. And let's go ahead and write this the way that people usually see it, which is two minus three i times negative two plus i. And we're just gonna basically distribute here. So we're gonna do two times negative two. That's gonna give us negative four. And then two times i is gonna give us two i. And then we do minus three i times minus two. So minus and minus is plus, so we get plus six i. Minus three i times i it's gonna give us a minus three i squared. That's because i times i is i squared. Let's check all that. Two times negative two is negative four. Two times i is two i. Negative and negative is positive. Three times two is six, and we still have the i. Negative three i times i is negative three i squared. So this is equal to negative four plus two i plus six i is eight i. And here we have minus three, and then i squared is negative one. This is negative four plus eight i, and this is gonna be a positive three because negative and negative is positive. Negative four plus three is gonna give us negative one plus eight i, which is exactly the same as negative one comma eight, right? You can think of every complex number in some sense as an ordered pair. So that's it, we've done what we were task to do, right? We had to verify this product of complex numbers when represented as ordered pairs. So that's it. Hopefully after watching this video, you've learned a little bit of mathematics. Until next time, good luck and take care.